Hello everyone, welcome to DEFCON Bangalore edition. My name is Raul Robles, also known as Megabyte, and we're going to be talking about this topic called Facebook exploiting the human kernel, and we're also going to talk a little bit about geolocalization. So let's start with the agenda for today. We're going to talk about the social implications, how are we exploiting the vanity of the human beings, how are we affecting the life course, the geolocalization, and of course the risks of this, and a couple of tools that I'm going to show you, uh, creep.py, an open source tool uh, coded in Python that uh, can show you a little bit of uh, about this issue I'm going to be talking about. So let's start with the social implications. Many of you have seen the uh, movie called Devil's Advocate. They have a phrase that I really like from there. Uh, they say, vanity is my favorite sin. And of course, uh, even if you're a religious person or not, uh, many of us have fallen into more of or one or more of the capital sins, and this is precisely what I'm going to be talking about: how the social networks such as Twitter and Facebook are exploiting our vanity, are exploiting our human core, our human kernel, and we're going to be showing a few examples of this. Uh, Remember, remember around the year 2000, all of us were worried about uh, the government trying to implant GPS chips inside our skin. Uh, we were worried about a government that could track our every movement. We were worried about the invasion of our privacy. Uh, that was the topic in, in the year 2000. Um, actually, in the US, uh, the US passport contains a GPS chip that tracks um, wherever we are located in the world. But this technology seemed to be more like something that was going to be imposed to us by a new government, by uh, some authorities that wanted to track all of our movements. Um, we were worried about that this was going to be the end of our privacy, right? But guess what? We didn't need that government. We didn't need nobody to impose those uh, GPS tracks on us. We are doing it ourselves. And why? Because we want to show off. We want we want people to know that we are maybe um, eating at a fancy restaurant. Uh, we want to tell people that we're having a vacation in Europe. We want to tell them that we are at the hottest club. We are we're trying to show off a life of ours to other people through these social networks. This is why these um, Facebook, Twitter accounts are exploiting precisely the vanity of the human being because we are revealing too much information um, just just ourselves of course there are two parts of this story but every time we do a check-in we tag friends we leave traces we leave traces of information maybe we don't know exactly how much information we're sharing but remember the first step of every information I'm sorry the first step of every penetration testing is the information gathering step. As you can see it in your backtrack, as you can see it in your um, Black Ubuntu OS, the first step of every penetration testing is the information gathering. Why do I am saying this? Because every single bit of information that we can get from the victim is going to be valuable. Not only what they're saying, but what, what they're not saying. For example, on this picture here, uh, a friend of mine posted a picture of uh, his helicopter arriving at a destination in Mexico. Well, maybe uh, he just posted the picture on Facebook, but here we're looking 
at this particular thing here. It's telling us what kind of cell phone does he have. It's telling us what kind of software does he use. <clears throat> All of these little bits of information are very valuable because imagine that maybe maybe my friend starts posting a lot of YouTube videos of uh, Metallica or Korn or any band that, that he might like. He start posting all of these videos, all of these songs. If if I start gathering information from that, it might be possible that his password might be one of these songs. It might be possible that one of these combination of the band members of maybe the, the band name itself could be his password. We need to pay attention of every single bit of information when we're trying to do a penetration uh, not only of a server but also of the of the human intellect. For example here um, like I was telling you it's important not only what we share but also we're telling them where we are but at the same time we're telling them where, where we are not. In this example, uh, I'm posting here that I'm going to be at a concert. At a concert located here, here's the map where I'm going to be. Uh, maybe watching some bands, etc. Well, what I'm saying here is that I'm going to be at the concert for three or four hours or depending how long is the concert. But I am, I am also sharing with everybody where I'm not going to be. I'm telling everybody, hey, listen, I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be gone for three hours. You can come steal my property. You can come do whatever you want. So you see how important is whatever we share, we're also sharing where we are not. So in this case, if somebody uh, with malicious intentions comes around, he can tell that I'm not going to be home and he can probably uh, steal money from me. So let's let's go to the next next slide. Hold on one second. So on this slide, uh, this is a, a very important picture. This is the on the left side. That's the Facebook version of you. On the right side, the realistic version of you. Everybody on the social network seems to have a wonderful time. Everybody has a lot of, a lot of friends. Uh, they show pictures, drinking, party, having a good time, etc. Everybody wants to show off their exotic tastes. Everybody wants to show off that they live the life to the full of extremes, to the full of adventures. So, people tend to share more than than they really need to. And this is the case for everything. Maybe somebody's posting a picture of his guitar. Maybe somebody's posting a picture of his possessions to show off, to say, hey, I got money, I got position in life. I want to share this. I want people to know that I have money. I want people to know that I have friends, I have a hot girlfriend, etc. So this is really important because we're sharing a lot of information but at the same time we're creating uh, how can I put this mildly? We're creating a, a fake version of you. On the left side that's the fake version of you and on the right side that's the realistic version of you if you don't show yourself as you are you're gonna be creating something that you're not so another thing is the Facebook jealousy uh, I've been reading studies for a couple months now Facebook is the number one leading cause of divorces in the US the um, the percentage has increased up to 80% of divorce in the US because of Facebook. Why? Because Facebook creates anxiety. 
if somebody uh, let's say you have a girlfriend and somebody likes your picture somebody comments on your picture it creates anxiety for for your girlfriend she's gonna start thinking well uh, probably that girl likes likes him probably that girl is talking to him what what are they saying to each other it creates anxiety um, it, it is very important because if the divorce rate increases there are going to be more kids in the street doing bad things so this is a really huge social impl implication of the social network now why do I say that we're changing the life course because since the dawn of times um, people all, all the relationships between people are only temporary people in your life come and go by seasons with exceptions with uh, of a few, few friends and family all the people in your life come and go and and this this is not a bad thing this is how it's supposed to be this is how it's been for the last 2000 years uh, before this uh, social network thing why why are we changing the life course because now thank you thanks to social networks we connect with our ex-girlfriend we connect with people from uh, high school maybe we connect with our old social circles and these this might sign, sound nice at the first but actually we are going backwards in into human ev evolution because maybe instead of going forward and meet new people maybe we are uh, denying of, uh, ourselves of of meeting new people because we are going back to our social circles that ended years years ago and we start building relationships maybe you get back with your high school girlfriend you get back and then you get married etc so you're changing the entire life course because the ease of the social networks bringing you together to your old social circles so once again the human intellect has been exploited like I said we didn't need a big brother or Skynet anything to to monitor humankind they have exploited our vanity and that's that's the reality now um, I was talking about the information we share we uh, we know we're posting a picture we know we share that information but what about the information we don't know we share what about the information that's hidden embedded inside of a picture I'm gonna do a demonstration now uh, this is the Wikipedia definition of the exit data uh, this is the this is data that's embedded this is data that's inside of every picture that you take uh, with a smartphone that has GPS enabled so let me do a quick demonstration here of the script I'm gonna just select a file it's uh, a picture that I have taken with my iPhone so we upload the picture and we're gonna see all of this metadata that it's embedded inside of the picture you're gonna see the huge amount of information well first of all as you can see it's telling us it's from an Apple iPhone 4s etc it's telling us all the resolution all of this image that uh, data that should be embedded but also what's really um, scary is that it's giving us a GPS position exactly of where we have taken the picture it's giving us a date of creation for forensic analysis purposes uh, it's telling us all of, all of this information that like I said every single every single bit of information is valuable because we can deduct we can create a psychological profile of whoever is uh, accessing our networks so now the important part as you can see here I'm just scrolling down this exit data we have 
the GPS northwest above sea level, etc. We have an exact location of the GPS. So thanks to this script uh, using the Google API, we can pinpoint exactly where this picture has has been taken. And maybe not not many people know about this exit data being embedded on your uh, smartphone. So maybe you are just showing a picture. You took a picture in the bathroom and you want to share it to your friends but if, but if someone does a forensic analysis if someone extracts that exit data they're going to they're going to know exactly where you are located and this is uh, really dangerous so going back here to the presentation uh, as I was showing you well this is the uh, location of the GPS data uh, to get the data, it can be done with a couple simple scripts. These are, these are the examples of the um, scripts to gather all of these metadata from a JPEG file and display a map uh, of where it is located. Uh, what mobile devices have this on? Pretty much all of them. iPhone, Android, Blackberry. If you have one and you want your privacy to be secure, you need to turn it off you need to turn off these GPS uh, locations now what tools can you use to uh, to do this well you can use the script that I presented you can use this is the creep.py where you just input the username of a Twitter account and it will give you exactly uh, it will extract the metadata of all the pictures that the user has uploaded to Twitter and it will create a map you will create point by point where this person has been in the last couple months or whatever uh, there are plenty of tools for forensic analysis you can also delete some of this data by uh, by just running some metadata uh, eraser software to your to your pictures fortunately uh, some pages have started deleting this data from your photos um, I'm aware that Twitter already does this but there are a lot of services that that are still keeping the, integ the integrity of your pictures such as uh, image shack such as blogsphere etc so be careful when you're uploading your pictures when you're sharing data with people because they can interpret anything they can interpret your silence your tone of voice they can interpret what you're sharing and what you're not sharing because there are there is data hidden inside all, of all the pictures that has the GPS module enabled so here's my contact information that's my email that's uh, hackingmexico.mx the printed magazine where I'm taking charge of those are the couple Twitters you can contact me and well I hope you like this uh, presentation if you have any questions if you want to get the script for the exit data contact me and I will post it uh, thank you and happy hacking